Inside a house along the farm-esque roads of Hillsborough, North Carolina, there is a room not many can claim to have in their own home. The house is that of Deb Corona, a vet tech, single mother, and artist, and the room is her full art studio next to her kitchen and visible from the front door, complete with shelves of as many multimedia art materials as one could imagine. Deb's artistic journey started with black and white portraits until one day she captured a photo of her daughter Sage and turned it into a painting which inspired her now prevalent use of color. Thus, she attributes this change to Sage, a change that she says is freeing and allows her to let go. She adds paint to the wax she uses on her wooden canvases, adding layer after layer and then taking time to either scrape them back or melt them down to reveal a multitude of colors underneath. After every session in the studio, the same art piece could look entirely different, sometimes unrecognizable, a testament not only to Deb's creativity, but to the layers she holds within herself. While working on her art, it is common for a pet or two or three to run around her legs. Her cat Luigi is a staple in the studio, climbing over paints and purring for attention. Deb is a vet tech by day, but an animal lover and artist always. While home, she never goes with 10 minutes without checking on Luigi or her dogs, Simon and Loki, caring for them as she does for everyone else, particularly Sage. Sage is 13, and the understanding both have of one another as mother and daughter is clear. They share a love for creativity. Sage takes time to make artwork with her mom, and Deb takes time to help her cook with friends, drive her to dance, and make the holiday special with things like Easter baskets filled with candy, stuffed animals, and of course, art supplies. Often, Deb can be found relaxing at the local bar, Nash Street Tavern, to catch up with friends, support local musicians, and hang out with those closest to her, like her daughter, her boyfriend, and his kid. She bounces from table to table, seemingly knowing everyone, buying a drink for the DJ, chatting with friends at the bar, but mostly sitting and laughing with her loved ones about everything from what they could do for fun this weekend to unpacking common elementary school myths about puberty. Despite her clear focus on others in her life, her daughter, her pets, her boyfriend, and her friends, Deb knows how to find people who care for her and in turn allow her to care for herself, part of the reason the act of her doing art is more important than the end product she creates. Outside of art, another way she cares for herself is through boxing. Keeping things in-house like her art studio, Deb boxes on her back porch, easily accessible with tape, gloves, and a heavy bag, ready to go. Boxing keeps her strong, physically and mentally. As she straps on her gloves, she says it allows her to release her anger and other negative emotions in a space that is hers and just for her. In four rounds of boxing for four minutes each, Deb peels back layers that may have been recently holding her back, setting her up for the moments of life ahead. Often, these moments entail the installation of her artworks in local galleries like the Thomas Stevens Gallery. She moves her pieces out of her living room and into the world, currently displaying them at yonder cocktail bar right off of Main Street, Hillsborough. Some of her pieces are large, taking two people and heavy-duty hooks to hang up. While installing the gallery in yonder, the vision that Deb has for her work becomes clear. She knows exactly which pieces she wants by each other, although abstract, there are connections between many of them. There are dashes of red that run through several of her pieces, and pieces that, although done separately, look like they're from the same art, just cut in half. And still, her art and capacity of creation varies. One of the pieces in the yonder gallery features a woman sitting, and then another has her curled into a fetal position, the vibrant red coloring signifying something deeper, more emotional. These galleries have allowed for her deeper immersion into the creative scene of Hillsborough, and have allowed for others to be introduced to her work. They inquire about her art and the creation of it, the textures catching their eye and making them wonder how she did it. Looking to the future, Deb is building an art studio in her backyard, one with the right amount of space, equipment, and outlets that she needs. The back wall will serve as her gallery, with lighting tailored specifically to her work to so showcase how each of her pieces is unique and has a life of its own. Each swirl, scrape, and texture is abstract, Yet this abstractness reflects an intense care for her work and a sense of liberation. The exact things she seeks in life 
are imitated in her artwork itself. As she moves through newness with her new job and new art studio, Deb keeps caring and never stops creating, the two constants that make her who she is.